Welcome to the homework for lesson 10. This is module 7 of third grade. Put your name here first, please. Trace the perimeter of the shapes below. Perimeter and area are often confused in third by third graders, but perimeter is the distance around the outside of the shape. If it was area, we would be shading the inside of the shape. And tracing the perimeter means just going, drawing, tracing around the edge of the shape like that, the outside edge. This practice just helps you remember that it's around the outside is perimeter. the distance around the outside of the shape. Explain how you know you trace the perimeters of the shapes above. Well, all I can think of to say is that is the distance the shape. I we traced all the shapes around their outsides or just their sides. Explain how you could use a string to figure out which shape above has the greatest perimeter. I could make the string go around each shape Then mark where the ends meet. I could straighten the string out. You don't have to, really. And measure it. With a ruler. Right, because you could just make a loop, right? Take a string and say a purple string and start, put one end of it here and just lay the string down on top of the edge of the shape, going around the outside like this, and it keeps going here. And then maybe you have the string is a little bit longer and it keeps going. Then what I would do is take a mark like right here 
and just mark that space, that spot on the string when it came back to the beginning. And then I could straighten it out and measure it. So you find some way to say that. Um, you might find a way to say it better than I did. Draw a rectangle on the grid below. Uh, well, the whole grid is a rectangle, really, but I'm just going to choose this. So trace the perimeter of the rectangle. Well, I kind of just did that. Uh, shade the area of the rectangle. So now we're shading the area, because remember I mentioned that before, that the perimeter is the outside. You'd be tracing around the outside of the shape for perimeter, but for area we're shading the inside. So this is area. There the area is shaded. How is the perimeter of the rectangle different from the area of the rectangle? Well, for one thing, they're measured in different units, right? Because the perimeter is measured in length. You know, how long is it around the outside? Perimeter is... Length. And only one U in units. And this length units. But area is counted in square units. Right, because to figure out the area, we would count the squares. But to calculate the perimeter, we'd count all these little line segments and add them together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Maya draws the same shape shown below. Noah colors the inside of Maya's shape as shown. Noah says he colored the perimeter of Maya's shape. Maya says Noah colored the area of her shape. Who is right? Explain your answer. So Noah, it's right here. Noah colors the inside of the shape. So who is right? Maya says Noah colored the area. Well, the inside is the area, right? That's uh, that's what we just did up here with that rectangle is shade the, shade the inside for the area. You can't shade perimeter. You can only trace it. So Maya is right. And explaining the answer is area is the space inside the shape. which Noah shaded, or which is what Noah shaded. And we could also add that you can't since I said it, I'm going to write it down. Only 
only trace it. 